no oven three layer chocolate cake. Simple, quick and easy to make. Give it a try. First, melt 300 grams of butter. Once the butter has melted, set it aside to cool. It can still be warm, it just, you just need to cool it down a little bit. Next, we're going to add half a cup of sugar. I'm using brown sugar to your melted butter. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. A teaspoon of vanilla essence. Give it a stir. Next, whisk up two eggs. And mix your eggs into the chocolate mixture. Give it a stir. A nice consistency, all the sugar's melted and the eggs are partially cooked now. Perfect. Next, we are going to break up two packets of plain biscuits. I have a bag that I use to break my biscuits up in and I recycle it. This is a no bake recipe, so you can make it basically anywhere as long as you have a stove top. Put your bickies in here, make sure you shut the zip lock and bash it with a rolling pin. Mine happens to be a bottle of pink gin. Put your crushed biscuits into a large bowl. This is a fairly good consistency. Not all the biscuits are crushed up. That's why I did it by hand and not in a machine. We're going to add half a cup of crushed nuts. I'm using hazelnuts. Three quarters of a cup of coconut. Mix in the sugar and coconut to the biscuits. Finally, we're going to add our hot mixture. Now mix your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. It will take you a couple of minutes. If the mixture is still too dry, instead of adding more butter, you can add probably a quarter of a cup of milk. That will just help it set a bit. You need the mixture to be quite gooey because it will set in the fridge. I use soy. You can use whatever milk you like. Yay, this is about right. You want the mixture to be like that in your hands. Not too gooey, but not too dry. This is a really old recipe my grandmother taught me and I've been making it for years. Super delicious. Spread it into a baking tin. Squash it down. If you want to, you can put it in a bigger tin. This is the only one I've got, and you could make your slice a little bit thinner. This is licking the spoon type of cake. Yummy. Next, we're going to make the second layer. Custard icing sugar. I'm not quite sure if you've ever tasted it, but it's pretty yummy. First, we're going to add two cups of icing sugar. Two large, large dessert spoons of custard powder. This is what makes it taste delicious. Mix this together well. 50 grams of melted butter. And some warm water. The secret to mixing icing sugar is you only put the water in really small amounts at a time, otherwise it can end up too runny. Half a spoon goes too runny. Now it's way better to do it in small lots than shove like half a cup in because you'll end up with a real big runny mess. The icing has to be thin enough that you can spread it. I've had a few questions about custard powder, what it is. It's actually a corn flour based powder here. So and that's how people make custard except a lot of people just buy custard at the shop. And the good thing about buying custard powder and making your own custard or custard icing is you can make it as thick or as thin as you like. So I got this from Birds in UK and we bought it in Gibraltar which is at the bottom of Spain. There we go. It took us a while to track it down. Here we are, custard icing ready to put on a cake. This is a really good thing to have in your kitchen by the way is a spatula. I don't have much in here in the motorhome but something I 
always use it's a spatula gets all your ingredients out of your bowl Okay, a really quick tip when you're icing is if it won't spread, add some water. This is still slightly thick, I think. Now we pop it in the fridge to set for about an hour. One hour later. Oh, nice and set. You can try that by touching, nothing happens. The third layer is going to be chocolate icing. It's going to be very thin. Now, you can use melted chocolate with a bit of milk, but I've actually eaten all my chocolate, so I'm making chocolate butter icing. Let me show you how. One cup of icing sugar, 25 grams of butter melted, a large spoon of cocoa. The secret to mixing icing is to use warm or hot water and a little bit at a time goes runny really quickly so you've got to be careful. One more spoon. Ah this looks perfect. And you'll see how quickly it goes runny runny. Look at that. Pour your icing over your lovely cake. And again remember if it doesn't spread get a knife and dip it in hot water and it will spread way easier. Perfect. You can top your cake with coconut or walnuts. I'm going to use some chopped walnuts because they taste yummy. This is so delicious. I really hope you make it. Let me know how you go. Granny's triple chocolate cake. Set it in the fridge for about another half an hour and then cut it into small slices. See the custard inside? Super yum. That's yummy. Delicious.